Okay, so today's video about Windows 10, I want to talk about start groups, which make it really, really easy to work with those grouping features that we had in Windows 8. Uh, but in Windows 8, I found them a little bit more clumsy. So here's what I'm talking about. If I click the Start button, it pops my Start menu, and I have different groups here. I have Play and Explore, Life at a Glance, this would be an unnamed one, Graphics on the Web, and Video. And these are groups that you can create. And not only can you create them, you can reorder them easily. For example, play and explore, not that important for me. I simply just don't have the time. So if I want to move it, all of these tiles, I can simply grab the group name at the top and just drag it where I want it to go. Maybe I'm going to put it right down at the bottom, let go, moves all the tiles with that group. If I wanted to rename a group, for example, this group here, I haven't given a name. So I'm going to click there. I'm going to call it whatever I'd want to call it, in this case Office Productivity, and then it names that section of that group. Now, moving groups around, renaming groups, is all very easily done simply by clicking on the group name. We can also make groups quite easily, and how you can do this is if I click and hold on a tile here and drag it down, you see how it kind of jumped down? You can actually see how it jumps down or it jumps down into a new group. So as soon as I drag it to the right area, it highlights, in my case, a little green bar. If I let go there, it quickly creates a group. And then I can go and drag other items into that group. I click in the blank space, and I'm done. So using that groups feature with your tiles can be really effective to get the icons you want in the right area. And then it's really easy to modify after the fact. So give that a shot if you're using Windows 10.